everyone, this is Oscar Nails. In this video, I will show you how to create a beautiful nail contour without any unevenness using only base gel. You don't need any special tools, you can create it using only the application technique for the base coat. By simply eliminating the unevenness on the natural nail surface, your nails will appear longer and more beautiful. By using this method as the base for a single color application, you can achieve a long quality finish. So please keep watch until the end. Okay, let's get started. First, please take a look at my left hand where I'll be shaping the nails in this video. While there aren't extreme irregularities, you can notice that my ring and pinky fingers have a flatter curve when viewed from the side. The middle finger tucks inward around here and it looks like there is a bit of an indent. Everyone's natural nails can have bumps or slight distortions like this. If you apply base and color gel directly to these nails, the unevenness parts may become lighter or darker, especially when finishing with a single color. This can result in noticeable color irregularities. That's why, in this video, I will show you how to contour the nails using base coat, creating a smooth surface that makes your nails appear longer and achieves a salon quality finish when applying a single color. Mastering this technique requires practice, but for those who are familiar with gels and looking to step up their game, I encourage you to give it a go. Okay, let's get started. Wheel being from where the nail care is complete and they have been sanded. First, wipe off any oil on the nail surface using ethanol or prep primer. Moisten a paper towel with ethanol and using it to wipe away oils like hand cream and sebum. The adhesion of the gel will improve by removing these oils, so make sure to wipe them thoroughly. If you have a primer, you can apply it after this step. Primer also enhances the adhesion of the gel, so if you experience lifting often, I suggest give it a go. Next, let's prepare the base gel. Any base gel you have is fine, and any brush shape is suitable for this. I suggest using a brush that you find easy to work with. Popular shapes include square, oval, and French, among others. Each shape has its characteristics. For example, with a square brush, you can use the corner to approach the cuticle side of the nail base, while an oval brush has a rounded edge, allowing you to follow the cuticle line as you apply. For a fringe shape, you can use the thin tip to apply while walking along the cuticle. When applying to the corners in a fringe style, it's easier to apply by flapping the brush. Since there are different ways to apply with each brush, use the one that feels most comfortable for you. For this demonstration, I'll be using a square brush. First, scoop a slightly smaller amount of base gel onto the brush. When scooping gel from a container, scooping toward the container's wall helps avoiding introducing bubbles. Wipe off any excess gel from the opposite side of the brush onto the container's edge to have a clean brush. Place the scoop gel in the middle of the nail, then apply half of it toward the tip of the nail. While doing this, move the brush up and down in small increments creating a rubbing motion as if filing in the scratches. This helps improve the adhesion between the base gel and your natural nail. For the remaining half, Bring the brush to the base of the nail and push it in. Then similarly move it up and down to spread the gel. The first coat of base gel is applied thinly, focusing on improving adhesion with the natural nail. While it may seem trivial, the base coat is crucial because the subsequent gel or color will flow where the base coat is applied. Therefore, be careful not to touch the skin with the first coat. When approaching the edges of the nail, use a technique called skin down, where you pull the skin downward, expanding the nail surface as you apply. This prevents the gel from overflowing while you apply. If it's challenging to apply while pulling, 
You can use a clip or a similar tool to hold the skin, making it easier to apply. If the gel flowed onto your skin during the first coat, I recommend wiping it off with kitchen paper or something similar and redoing it. Since the next gel will flow to where the first base coat has best, it's better to redo it if you make a mistake in the first coat for the ultimate beautiful finish. Let's also paint the edges while tapping with a brush. The first coat is now applied. The surface still looks a bit rough, doesn't it? I'll make it smooth in the second coat, so the first coat will cure in its current state. Next, for the second coat, scoop up about 1.5 to 2 times the amount of gel used in the first coat. Like the first coat, let's scrape off the gel that has adhered to the opposite side of the brush. If gel is on the opposite side, it can cause the gel to drip from the brush, leading to leakage on the skin. The amount of gel should be about this much. Depending on the length of your nails, a bit more may be suitable. Like the first coat, place it in the middle for now. Then, gently touch only the surface of the gel with a brush, guiding the gel to the tip of the nail. Once you've taken it to the tip, now guide it to the base of the nail. After spreading the gel along the vertical line, do the same on the both sides guiding the gel. Applying too much pressure or holding the brush upright can ruin the beautiful form by scraping the gel. So move the brush parallel to the nail without applying too much force to the brush tip. The key is to not so much apply the gel, but rather touch only the surface of the gel, guiding it with a sense of surface tension. Once you've spread it to some extent, let's shine a light on it and take a look. Can you see that the white line of light is still slightly distorted? If the line line is distorted, it means there are still uneven areas. In these cases, hold the brush vertically, touch only the surface of the gel, and move from the tip to the base, and from the base to the tip to eliminate surface irregularities. At this time, move the brush tip just enough to touch the surface of the gel without scraping it. It might be a bit challenging, but practice is the only way to master this. Once you can use the surface tension of the gel, you can greatly improve your skills. I also tried it with a French brush. Since the brush tip is diagonally cut, it might be easier to move it vertically this way. After spreading it overall, shine light from various angles using lighting fixtures, etc. to check the lines of light. Check if the light lines are not distorted, and if the surface is smooth without unevenness, cure it with the light. The second coat has a larger amount of gel, so there is a phenomenon called curing heat and it may feel hot when expose it to the light. Therefore, when putting it under the light, let's expose it for 2 to 3 seconds at a time while seeing how it goes. If it gets hot, take it out for a moment and repeat the process of putting it back in once it cools down until it fully cures. And that's the end of the process. If you are going to paint over this with a color, continue painting from here. This time, I painted a top coat on top to finish. How was this method of creating a beautiful contour using a base coat? Since no special materials are needed, you can try it out right away. If you are concerned about the unevenness of your nails, I suggest you give this a go. Thank you for watching. If this video was helpful to you, please hit the like button. And if you like see more video like this, please subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Bye.